In this video, I want to talk about the conditions under which an AR1 process is stationary and weakly dependent. So first of all, let's just write down what an AR1 process is. We have that xt is equal to rho times xt minus 1 plus some error et, where this error et is defined as being iid with a mean of 0 and a variance of sigma squared. In order to proceed and actually prove the conditions under which a AO1 process is stationary, we're actually going to do something first. We realise that this particular process up here has to actually hold for all time periods. So it holds for xt, it also holds for xt minus 1. So we can actually back substitute in for xt minus 1 in this above relationship here. And then we get that this is equal to rho times xt minus 2 plus et minus 1, close parenthesis, plus we've still got this et left over. And actually, we could then multiply out this parenthesis and we get that this was rho squared times xt minus 2 plus rho times et minus 1 plus et. And actually, if we were to continue doing this indefinitely, we would find out that xt was equal to rho to the power t times x0, so that's the value of x in the first period, plus the sum from i equals naught to t minus 1 of rho to the i times e t minus i. You can just get to this particular second term here from, from noticing the pattern in these error terms here. Okay, so now we're in a position where we can start proving some of the conditions for a AR1 process to be stationary. The first condition, remember, for a process to be stationary is that it has to have a constant mean. So we require that the expectation of xt is a constant. Well, if we apply the expectations operator to this bottom expression we have for xt, then we get that this is equal to rho to the power t because rho is just a constant, so the expectations operator just passes straight through that, times the expectation of x naught, plus now we've got the sum from i equals naught to t minus 1 times rho to the i times the expectation of e t minus i because again the expectations operator being a linear operator just passes straight through this rho i and there aren't any sort of cross terms that we have to worry about. Then we notice that the et actually have a mean of zero, so the expectation of all of these terms is zero, so this second term disappears, and we're left with an expression for the expectation of xt. And notice that the only way in that this can be true is if we have that the expectation of x0 is equal to zero, because then that implies that the expectation of xt is equal to zero as well. So we have that the expectation of xt is a constant. So that is the first condition under which a AR1 process will be um, stationary and mean. So we have to have that the expectation of the first term in the series is zero. In the next video, I'm going to look at the conditions under which a AR1 process is constant invariant. I'll see you then.